Hello, this is Adam, the baby gear guy and car seat technician. And today we're gonna show you how to put your baby into the Cybex Cloud G or G Lux infant car seat. Now, before we put baby in, we're gonna talk about the features and adjustments on this car seat. The main adjustment is loosening and tightening the straps and that's controlled right at the front here. To tighten the straps, you're gonna pull on this gray strap here. To loosen them, there is a gray button inside the black tunnel Get your finger in there, hold the button down, and that will allow you to loosen, loosen up the straps. If you loosen up one side, the other side will adjust with it. The both sides will always stay even. The second adjustment feature is the headrest. As the baby gets taller, you can raise this up. There is a trigger right behind the headrest. If you pull it up, it unlocks it so you can move it up or down. The way to know the headrest is in the right spot is you wanna look at the top of the baby's shoulder. The top of their shoulder should be right in between these two lines here, above where the straps come out and right below where the stitching on the headrest begins. As long as the baby's shoulder is within that range, you know the headrest is in the correct spot. Once their shoulder passes the stitching, you're gonna raise the headrest up. Now, the car seat also comes with a newborn insert, which is recommended up to 11 pounds till about three months old. This is for a small newborn baby. If the baby is smaller, you can make the harness more snug by folding in the wings, and it's just gonna make the, the car seat a bit more padded for a tinier baby. But as soon as the baby's over 11 pounds, you can take this piece out, and the child can go directly in the car seat. Now let's reset everything back to the lowest level for a newborn. So headrest is going all the way down, straps are being loosened all the way, and then we can move them out of the way. You're gonna grab your baby, make sure to support the head and neck. Baby's gonna go into the car seat. Because the straps are loose, it's gonna make it much easier to buckle them in. Retainer clip slides together, and the two metal clips go into the crotch, into the red crotch buckle. And you can do these one at a time. If you're using the shoulder pads, you can push them all the way back. They should be on top of the baby's shoulder. They shouldn't be anywhere near the chest or stomach area. Now these pads can be pretty bulky for a newborn baby or a smaller baby. And these are completely optional. So if you cannot get a good fit for the baby, you can go ahead and just snap the shoulder pads off. We have our baby buckled in now. Now it's time to tighten the car seat. What a lot of families will do is as soon as they buckle baby in, they pull on the front strap to tighten it, which is fine. But when you do that, it only tightens the slack on top of the baby's shoulders and it's gonna stay loose around the legs. And a lot of families don't realize that it's still loose down there. So what I recommend is tightening the legs first. Pull up on the thigh slack, slide the chest clip down. Now all the slack is by the shoulder chest area. So when you do pull on the tightening strap, all the loose slack gets tightened up all at once. Nothing is left over by the legs. To make sure this is tight enough, with two fingers, you're gonna pinch right on top of the baby's shoulder. So if you're using the shoulder pads, you can just snap these open two fingers you're going to pinch. If you can make a loop or pinch the straps together, it's still too loose. So keep tightening until you cannot pinch anything at all. If you're worried it's too tight on the baby, see if one finger can fit underneath there. If your finger fits, you know baby's not being squeezed or harmed in any way. The last thing you're going to do, you're going to move the retainer clip all the way up make sure it's level with the baby's armpits. And every time you put baby in the car seat, you're gonna do the same exact routine. When you're gonna take the baby out, I recommend loosening the straps first. That'll make it easier to unbuckle the car seat and easier to get the baby out. This'll also make the car seat ready for the next time you're gonna use it. Hope this helped. And if you have any questions or unsure about the way your car seat works, Always refer to the owner's manual. Have a good day.